Big difference between four years ago and now, the pandemic. Remember the day when it was announced? I remember that. Wuhan province, right? H1N1, that's right. And all of a sudden, China was heavily infected. Italy, big problem. Now we got pandemic. Unbelievable what happened right here in the United States. Let's say something stupid happened. So there's one. I said, oh, that's only one guy. Then you said another three, then four. Then you see another 10. We had a smattering of people, 25,000 people, highly infected. Make it 30, make it 100. A 700% increase. All of a sudden, it's a sad thing that's happened to New York. They were heavily infected when they got slaughtered. That's what happened. It was like from 200 years ago. It was crazy. It's such a shame. These are disasters. We had all the evidence we needed, but it was too late. Let's just run for your lives. Your state will be overrun and destroyed. There's nothing you can do. Most of them are dying. Thousands and thousands of highly infected, but I would say they'll go substantially higher than that number, about 20 times more than what we have. And this went on day after day after day, and just week after week. Isn't it damn disgraceful? I hope you appreciate, we had a period of time. I had Dr. Fauci, I had another nice guy, a lot of doctors, they were all telling me, if only I moved one week earlier. But I said to myself, well, let's see what happens. Who the hell knows? I'm going to stay uninvolved. I don't have to. But historically, stupidity, that never wins. And everybody admits that if only Trump moved faster. This is not a sharp guy. He's not fit to be your president. It's a doctor. Everybody's angry at me. I said, what about China, which was heavily infected? China is sharp. And they did it on day three. Day three is better than two weeks later. The doctors benefit tremendously. And hospitals. We don't have too many more chances with this stuff. Our country has fallen apart. I don't think I could explain that to the American public. People are sick. The pandemic will overwhelm your children's schools and inundate your hospitals. That's what will happen. You have a lot of groups of people just like this. Every place we go, we're very tight together. There's no social distancing at all. And it's not their fault. They were told to do that. But they all made the exact same mistake. That's not good. And they say, you know, some stupid reason. These are strong, young people. They're going to do great. So let's see what happens to them. You know, I've learned a lot as president. But one thing I learned is that when you talk about the pandemic, a lot of people haven't been treated right. And it's a disgrace. Look, let me tell you. You can't have this as your president. I don't care. Forget about me. You can't do this. We don't have the luxury of sitting back and saying, let's have four years of hundreds of thousands of more deaths. Think of it. All of these people, hardworking American patriots, unemployed, between the American dream and standing on a grave. Thank you, President Trump. Thank you. You better remember this when you go and vote. I'll do it for you again. We will make America sick again.